So I'll be talking about the establishment of uh, the chosen few and the reason why I'm in this conference uh, today. The chosen few was started in 2004 after a number of young lesbian soccer players from township were expelled in the women's soccer team, including myself. I was one of them, uh, of the women who were expelled in the team because of my sexual orientation. So uh, we had to, 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 to have our own team. We had to start something that uh, when we are there, we feel comfortable and we feel we can be ourselves. And I feel that I can wear you know, pants we, without uh, anyone being forcing me to wear a skirt whilst I'm going for a training. So uh, the team has started around those, to around those uh, initiatives. And most of uh, the soccer players or the, uh, the women who are playing for Chosen Few are survivors of hate crimes. The team was created to have a safe space where lesbian soccer players can be part of a team where they can continue to do what they are passionate about in sports whilst challenging homophobia and advocating for, for, for their rights. This is the chosen few soccer team, which is uh, compressed of 25 young black lesbian women from townships and around Johannesburg. They are all activists for the rights of women, particularly lesbian in South Africa. This uh, is the work of chosen few where they support um, different uh, movement, uh, women's movement uh, in South Africa, especially particularly uh, um, lesbian uh, movements. This is um, where the chosen few has uh, started uh, to have a workshop in, 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 in a stadium, in a, in, in a forum like this, uh, to address issues uh, of, of, of homophobia in, in, in sports, and then after that, there was a small Anyana tournament. Uh, this tournament initially, it, 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 it was uh, around the Women's Month where the chosen few soccer team uh, had uh, direct action with other team who are not uh, lesbian teams, but who um, supporting the, 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 the whole idea or the content about uh, the chosen few. Here, it's here in London in 2008 where the chosen few has participated um, in the Federation of Gay Games, which you see, chosen few, they are always singing because it heals them. They are always chanting because they feel, uh, um, they, they feel as a team that this is a therapy for them, regardless of the issues or of the situations that uh, they come from or the background that they come from. But this is uh, our second home, uh, as we always say. You, you, you can't even tell there who is being hurt or who was being raped. Or, but you, the only thing that you see, you just see only women who love soccer, who want to play soccer, regardless of their sexual orientation. This was uh, this year, 2010 uh, Gay Games in uh, Germany, which uh, it's, it's something that, as, as, as I was saying, that it's something that they enjoyed doing uh, the most. So um, I will take you through the activities and the projects that uh, Chosen Few uh, are, are doing. Uh, Chosen Few are doing a solidarity uh, work they are doing uh, direct action, they are doing artist advocacy, which I will explain more about uh, what does uh, artist advocacy do. They are doing uh, photojournalism and they are doing workshop around 16 days of activism. Um, in solidarity work, they are caught monitors, they have been trained to be caught monitors. Um, so that uh, the, because the system is, uh, the justice system is failing us in, in, in all the way. Be before we get the justice, we need to stand up in courts, we need to protest, we have to march. The, 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 that process is a, a process which we can be doing something else instead of marching for our own rights, you know? And instead of, of us being protesting, we should have uh, done something else with the Department of Education or with the Department of, of Home Affairs because they are the ones who are giving us uh, problems. And uh, the police, which um, I, I will talk about the police just now, 
but uh, let me go through the, the, the program or the activities that the Chosen Few is doing. And uh, the Chosen Few is also a part of the direct action. The team has a passionate to ensure visibility of lesbian women in struggle, women in general, xenophobia. We also part of, of the campaign, the xenophobia campaign as chosen few uh, members, etc. They continue to support uh, cases in court by being visible inside and outside the courts in matches to bring out uh, voices and visibility of black lesbian women in transforming of the justice system. Uh, the, and the next one is artist advocacy. Chosen Few has uh, learned skills to develop advocacy message through art. These skills will ensure that we develop advocacy messages uh, to the community that we are we wanting to work with, to the health department, to the relevant people that we are we want to work with uh, in in our programs that are, are coming. Um, and then we have the photojournalism, which they enjoy a lot have uh, learned skills on taking photos and being able to write stories, talking to the pictures and talking to them direct. They gave them skills to be able to read photos, especially on VAW, and be able to bring that out into a story where they can be able to stand in uh, such forums and present uh, those uh, stories. Okay, I had uh, that I don't have time. Uh, quickly, let me uh, run on this. Uh, I would like uh, to talk about the, the system or the justice system, the educational system in South Africa that uh, we have. It's um, very failing us in, in, in different ways, in such a way that um, there's a program that I presented to the police uh, two weeks ago that I will be uh, working with them and as I was presenting I was uh, telling them that uh, the program is all about uh, the LGBT community and one policeman stood up and say what are you talking about I don't even like those people so you won't come here in my office and talk about those people not now not ever and then what I, I, I said to him is that this is the kind of response that I want to hear so that I'll be able to go back and know what to deal with or what, uh, what to, to, to know of the people that I need to, to deal with. And at the end, what I said to him is that we don't want to, to be accepted or to, be tolerate, to, to people to tolerate us. We just want people to respect us. That's it. And, uh, to be to to be to respect us in such a way that uh, me and you can be able to talk about issues that you think we can talk uh, uh, about. So uh, as I was telling the, the the policeman that you don't have to love me or but you have to tolerate me and do what you uh, are committed to to be doing. In uh, conclusion of uh, my presentation. Um, to conclude, uh, I, I will talk uh, more forward about the work that we want to do. Uh, the chosen few, uh, we still lack of funding to continue doing our workshops, continue doing our trainings, our tournaments and uh, uh, soccer equip equipment so that we can be able to have uh, proper um, trainings and um, we we saw that we win the game as well because that's that's important as well to win the games so what i have been asked from chosen few they said i must um because i was doing this presentation with them they said if only that they can get uh, scholarships for for them to to further their education for them to 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 be in, in a sustained way so that they get themselves their job, they get themselves uh, jobs that will be appreciative. They just need education, not much. And uh, the other thing, the last, last thing, is that they want to build solid solidarity through exchange programs so that they could be cross learnings uh, through, through that. So this one I'm addressing to the people who are from the Department of Education and other organizations that are, okay, thank you. When I'm done here, I'll see you. And uh, for more information, uh, you can go to our website, www.few.org.za. And uh, during uh, this week, uh, if you need my contact, I'm with uh, the LGBT Pride 
spot. Yes. Yes. So uh, thank you very much for your time and for listening to me. If uh, there's anyone who's got a question, I'm all here. I'm still here. And I'm all yours.